All right. Hello, everyone. I would like to welcome you all to the very first Invarch Weekly Wednesday in VR. Uh, yeah, a little bit nervous here, but uh, <laughs> really excited to welcome everyone uh, in, kind of give a fresh, uh, a new way of diving in and getting uh, an update on the project and kind of a more immersive way of me being able to dive in and, you know, go over everything and share what's going on about the project with you all. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this week, I want to start by, uh, well, first and foremost, talking about some uh, some upcoming uh, possible you know, pending changes to the Invarch Discord, to the Invarch Ambassador Program, uh, looking to make a more inclusive uh, community. We had before went back and we had made some changes, some adjustments, reorganize everything um, based on regions. However, we want to make a borderless community. And with that, we are looking to restructure the Invarch Discord and the Invarch Ambassador program around the just the pure the technology and the use cases of Invarch. So with that being said, um, I just want to let everyone know that they can anticipate some upcoming changes to the channels. Uh, to the sh overall structure. Um, those changes will be announced and elaborated on in more detail in the coming future, in the coming days. But we're really, really excited for that because, uh, again, just being able to focus on the use cases of the project, have individuals come, hop into the server, um, go through, you know, obviously, the rules of everything, but then we'll also have a section, uh, kind of like a, an intro section for education on the project so individuals can get themselves acquainted, or even those who are already familiar can always stop in and check out the education that we, uh, the resources and the links that we have uh, listed there in the Discord. But moving on beyond that, just being able to dive in and, you know, I don't know, form, form connections with other individuals, regardless of where you are around the world, about the use cases for Invarch, how you would like to use the technology, or just finding an interest in how other individuals see their use, their, their future use in, uh, in using Invarch. So that's something we're very excited about and looking forward to, but more updates on that coming soon. I'd also like to note and congratulate again our winners of the Invarch VR Oculus giveaway. We're going to be getting those uh, Oculus Quest 2 sent out to, to everyone. Um, between now and over over the weekend. So expect uh, to hear back from us soon uh, via Twitter. Uh, you may also possibly, should be getting some tracking information as well, so I want to give that update as well. And again, congratulations. Thank you to everyone who participated. It was really awesome. And we're looking forward to you know hanging out in VR with the winners of that campaign. <clears throat> so with all of that out of the way, I want to go ahead and dive in a little bit about some of the tech stuff that we have going on right now in the project this week. So what we've been working on in the background as we've been working uh, finalizing making IP files and IP sets more composable, uh, having IP replicas and realizing that technology so individuals can seamlessly duplicate their IP sets, IP subsets, IP files, duplicate that process. And a beautiful way, for this way, a beautiful way that, and a powerful way that we would like to introduce ourselves, the power of Invarch to the world, is through uh, an upcoming application that we call GitArch. Now, this is, uh, I just want to note, this is just a mock UI over here on the left. So it's just a mock UI. Um, like, there's still some, some changes right here that I can say. Like, for example, because it's IP sets that will be um, able to be staked, not the IP files themselves. Um, but this is a, a mock UI that we wanted to share with individuals. Uh, just a little something to give, give the world uh, an idea, an actual you know, visual idea of what to expect with the future of the project. So as you can see here, you know, having the ability to mint IPs, seeing your IPs, possibly discovering IPs, IP staking, you know, marketplace, different categories for organizing IP, managing your IP, even having IP categorized in, uh, well, into categories, <laughs> different categories. And we're also looking to introduce sub, uh, having uh, subcategories as well. So, and, resor and uh, resource and education links as well, all introduced. And what we are calling uh, Git Arch is what we are looking to uh, to introduce to the world. So the Git Arch DAP, the Git Arch application, is going to be something really, really powerful. And beyond what you see here, when beyond what you see here, something very, very, very powerful that we're looking to to deploy. So there is, as you all know, there's the Invarch chain. Uh, however, Git Arch is actually a play on. Uh, on a Git repository. As many individuals are familiar with, there's something like GitHub or GitLab. So GitHub tends to be the, the big winner in the tech world. Well, imagine GitHub, but imagine GitHub decentralized, decentrally owned, all your code decentrally stored. And imagine your code, all of your files, imagine everything, all those files being seamlessly authenticated. Imagine 
licensing agreements, imagine versioning, everything being seamlessly controlled, all using you know, the same experience using uh, a Git middleware, using uh, the Invars protocol, um, using all of this technology. That is what we're looking to, you know, to we've been working on in the background to showcase the world. So this is just a little taste of what's to come in the coming days. But this is a something we're really excited to talk more about, and we're really, really looking forward to sharing with the world. But yeah, just wanted to kind of give the give everyone a little peek at this, um, and give everyone a little yeah a little snapshot of what's to come. But moving beyond that, as uh, a lot of individuals have been asking, you know, what's going on with the test net? What's going on with Tinker? So uh, we were in discussions with members of the Parity team, and we're talking with them. And uh, one of the things that they had asked us is, uh, you know, regarding our test net, if we had considered, if we thought going to the summer route. And we had given our reasons for why we were choosing not to, no, not, not to go that route. We're going straight for Polkadot. Um, however, one of the... One of the good points that was brought to our attention is that what being a, having a cousin, a canary network on Kusama, what that allows us to do is to test out individuals, their actual interactions and how they use the technology and how they use the chain in real world scenarios with real with assets that have real value, which helps to emulate a more realistic experience. So that alone was, uh, it was a very good point, something that, uh, I mean, it clearly makes a lot of sense. So um, as we speak, this is something that the, the team we're actively talking about, discussing and considering. Um, so more details are to come. Otherwise, we would have been looking to deploy the Tinker test on actually sometime this week. However, with this being, uh, being the topic here, um, we want to figure this out first. If that's the case, then we'll obviously we'll have some, uh, some really exciting news, um, coming up in the very, very near future, if that is the case. And we want to be transparent with this process because obviously in sharing the, the weekly update, um, you know, we share this with everyone. We get some community feedback. You just get to see how, how everyone feels, if the community is in favor of this, if they're strongly against. I would like to note that the beautiful thing about this is you know, securing a slot on Kusama would also allow us to have a permanent uh, slot, a permanent test net on the Rococo, uh, Rococo test net. And this is great because that's something that we want to provide is a free, incentivized permanent test net. So if being able to provide, you know, both of those in tandem, have two test net or a cousin uh, network and a test net, but a cousin network that actually emulates real interactions and having an unincentivized test net, if we're able to have both of those, then, uh, I mean, it, it is pretty appealing. But again, you know, we still have to, as a team, make those decisions. But yes, we want to we want to transparently share this with the community. And again, if anyone has any strong feelings or thoughts, then uh, you know, in the Discord, go ahead and feel free to to let us know. We're always open to hearing what the community has to say. And with that, I just want to say, just note that right now, what we're finishing up, just a few last things on the INV protocol. So that is a. Uh, you know, inventory, uh, involvement, invention, and investment arch uh, in a different order than that. Uh, but the basically IP file, IP composability protocol, that is what, that's the IMV protocol. And we're finalizing some tech on that right now, um, looking to move into sub assets, uh, some new technology that we'll be talking about more in the near future uh, through uh, a series of uh, education, uh, educational content that we're going to be uh, deploying, or not deploying, <laughs> that we're going to be sharing with the community. Uh, moving on after that, though, then we're going to be moving on to what we're calling the OSIF protocol. So the on-chain innovation funding protocol. The OSIF protocol is what encapsulates, we have, uh, as we've talked about before, we have IP staking, we have IP farming, and we have IP donations. And that is what that encapsulates, and that's what we have next uh, up on the calendar. But with all of this, um, some last little things that I wanted to share, uh, some like last thoughts I have rattling around is that one thing for the, for the whole of the community is that to the website, uh, we're looking to do two main things. Oh, well, three main things, really. You can't see my fingers right now, but I'm holding up three fingers. Um, three main things, and that is we're going to be adding a careers page to the website. So we're going to be actually sharing several different, several new job openings or uh, career positions, career uh, opportunities to come join the Invarge team. So we're going to be sharing them and adding them to the website in the near future. We're also looking to add a community calendar to the website as well. Something that, uh, like just in a regular calendar view that everyone is already familiar with that shows individuals everything from uh, tech development, uh, updates that are being uh, deployed to um, alpha releases uh, and AMAs, et cetera, and having that in a nice presentable manner on our website. So anyone can 
click go to invarch.network, go check the calendar and see what's going on. Um, so we want to provide that as well. That's something to look forward to, as well as the ambassador hub. Uh, this is for our ambassadors. Uh, the ambassador hub, this is something that we're going to be working on and looking to deploy, hopefully, by the end of this month. Um, and that will be a section out of the website where individuals will be able to connect their Polkadot.js wallet um, or their Talisman wallet or other, you know, other uh, ecosystem wallet they have in their browser extension. Shout out to the Talisman wallet. I really love the wallet. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, we'll be able to connect. And when they do so, they'll have their uh, account connected to their ambassador profile. They'll be able to check their points, be able to check their associated uh, VARCH allocations and so on. So yeah, so we're looking forward to those updates as well. So wanted to make sure I got those out there before concluding this. But with all that out of the way, um, again, touching on we have some awesome stuff coming up in the future regarding GetArch, and I, we hope that uh, you know, this is a again, it's a mock UI, but we hope this helps everyone kind of visualize a little bit more of what's to come. Keep in mind, uh, we're looking to also encapsulate and provide a decentralized Git repository experience. So this is something really, really powerful that we're excited to. Um, dive into more detail in the coming days, coming weeks. And with all of that, you know, Tinker, Kusama, question mark, we'll be figuring that out uh, over the next coming days. And with that, you know, some, some expansion, some updates to the website for the community. But yeah, with all that out of the way, uh, I just want to thank you all for tuning in, for watching this video of our very first Invarts Weekly Wednesdays, as we said, NVR. We hope that you enjoy this uh, kind of new experience for being able to dive in and be able to check up on a pro uh, project, see what's going on. And yeah, other than that, you know, just uh, stay decentralized, hodl, keep on. Uh, if, if you're not buying DOT while it's low right now, I don't know what you're doing. But um, yeah, take care, everyone, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.